Hello out there and thanks for joining us again. It's another edition of Public Conscience on radio brought to you by the Progressive Impact Organization for Community Development, Primong, and we're supported by the Mercator Foundation. As we treat you to another uh, angle to our pursuit of transparency and accountability in the electricity metering process, let's remind you first that BET registration and the certificate that accompanies it are free. My co-presenter is Chukudi Okole Ubaja. It's always a joy to be here. And uh, always good to remind the listener not to pay for birth registration and the certificate that goes with it. But just as you hinted, we are still tracking what our partners, the cable online editors, call the scheme that became a scam in the electricity metering process. And we sought answers uh, to your numerous complaints by bringing in both the president of the Consumer Protection Network, Kunle Kola Olubio, and the DGM, Corporate Communications of Abuja Electricity Distribution Company, AEDC, uh, Oyebode Fadikwe. Now, the questions are, what have you made of their appearances on public conscience on radio? How many of you have availed yourselves of the opportunity of the numbers, the ADC officials talking about the phone numbers that were given out by them? How many of you have availed yourselves of the opportunity of the numbers uh, to seek answers to the issues we are dealing with? And today we decided to hear again from electricity consumers but this time around, to find out if the discos have shifted grounds and made some attempt to remove the com- corruption complained about or reduce the incidences of high electricity cost through estimated billings. And you recall that last week, AEDC representative uh, Oyebode Fadipe was here. He gave out some phone numbers. Never mind, we will repeat those numbers in the course of the program. He gave out some phone numbers for consumers to call and complain. He was also emphatic that all complaints are usually diligently attended to and resolved. Have you made any complaint about your meters? You have paid for them, you have not gotten them, you are overbilled, the high electricity bills, or anything that we have been talking about that uh, we can track for you? As we hinted, we are still giving opportunity to some aggrieved consumers to air their views and to hopefully help them resolve the issues at stake. And that, of course, means that you out there who's going to call in have opportunity to call in. And yes, say, it's a uh, program that uh, provides you the opportunity to call in. We are still harvesting your complaints and uh, we are happy that uh, your representative, Kunle Kola Olubio, who has been taking notes, and uh, we have been forwarding your complaints to him. It's also right in here. So we'll be judge, uh, we'll be taking a look at all the issues. We'll be taking look, a look at your complaints, and then we'll be answering them as much as possible. First, though, uh, Chukudi, uh, we just uh, need to remind our, our listeners of some of the numbers that we have. Oh, please do that, sir. Now, we, 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 we have always uh, told you that our WhatsApp line, uh, the Primog WhatsApp line is available for you to send your complaints continuously during this program and after the program. And that number is 90 And that is 90 Six five six one six seven. We need to quickly, uh, after giving them the number, I begin to explain uh, the uh, introduce our guests in the studio. Yes, for sure. And um, we have two guests today, and um, one of them is uh, Aderigube Isaac Taiwo. He is the chairman, Peggy Community Development Association, Pegda. Um, is a it is in Kuje Area Council of Abuja. You're welcome to the show today. Thank you very much. That's the uh, a fairly fair man on my right there. Thank you. Very much. Then the other man is uh, Martin's um, uh, Ayakula. Did I get that right? Yeah. He's a Guarimpa. <laughs> he's a Guarimpa resident and is of course appearing on public conscience on radio as well today. So oh, here we are. You are both welcome. It's a program. double barrel Thank attack within the street. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know we used to harvest from the streets uh those who mm. want to talk to us, but we, today we decided to bring them in uh, to the studio and they graciously uh, have come to join us so that uh, we can 
uh, indeed uh, have uh, their uh, not just their voice but their face uh, to the complaints that they have. Please, now, Ohira, just before you ask them the first question, let's quickly remind our view, um, our listeners. They are viewers as well. We are on YouTube. Yes. Okay. Uh, our WhatsApp number messages only is o nine o two two six five. Six one six seven. Let's meet our, our, our now that we have met our, our guests in the studio. Let's fire on with the questions. Uh, let me begin from uh, Adele Bigbe Isaac uh, Taiwo. Uh, what is the complaints you have at the moment? My name is Adele Bigbe Isaac Taiwo, the chairman Peggy Development Association. Where is Peggy? Peggy, Peggy is in Kuje Area Council. Okay, you are the, you are you are under the AEDC, AEDC, AEDC under Abuja South Region. We've been having engagement as a community with uh, the management of AEDC on our uh, indecent uh, billings to residents and. Uh, what do you mean by indecent billing? That's outrageous, outrageous, outrageous billings. Billing. Outrageous billings. We've had the cause to also petition Abuja Forum. It is a, an arbitration a panel established by NEC to settle to hear complaints. complaints. Abuja what? Abuja Forum. That's NEC. Abuja, yes, Forum, Abuja yeah. Forum. Yeah. Abuja Forum. And we got a ruling from that forum in uh, on the 21st of no uh, November 2018. ADC was ably uh, represented by Dr. Balami and Madam Asabe. Up till as we speak, we've communicated with the, the managing director of AEDC, engineer Rafael Enes Mupuaya. He sent a representative, the former GM of Abuja South Region, Mr. Clement Obanili, and other members of uh, their team to see to the how uh, now we can resolve. Now let, let's go this straight. Dispute. Let's go straight to your complaint. What was the ruling about? What was your uh, was the infraction and what did you get from this uh, uh, panel? That the forum that resident funded the networking of power to each zones under PHCN, and when they took over assets, of course there should be a liability. Yes. But AEDC claimed they were not notified. Oh, okay, there's no problem. They took the assets to themselves. The assets of PHCN yes. that was taken over then. Yes. Abuja Disco is one of it's one of those coverage areas. Abuja that inherited. inherited. Let, let break it down so that people can understand. say that residents funded funded we funded, funded we funded the network. What, what did you buy? Electricity cables, poles, poles. and even paying staffs who carry out uh, the that the was when it was PAC. When it was PAC. So when AEDC came, they inherited these assets. Of course. Sir. So what, 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 what were now your demands? Was there we, any documentation? Yes, there were documentation. Previous leadership of the community, we have it in our in our sector. Okay. Sir. Okay. So so we we intimated AEDC with this happening that a month after we uh, power was installed into the community, we started receiving bills. We complained to them that won't you even give us. Some rooms. Okay, some rooms to enjoy this power. Because you funded we it. We funded it. How much was this capitalized? What how much we are looking you... at between sixteen to twenty two million, sir. That you put into the community. Yes, sir. The community, As a community. You, you build you build individual landlords and tenants and yeah, everybody yes, there. Yes, sir. Okay, and then you put in this fund in forms of the capital pools and yes, the, sir. The, 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 the installments. Yes, sir. So they were supposed to at least give you some time and find out how to, to put this to defray this cost because this it is not your business. Yes, sir. It is their business. Maybe by giving so electricity units. What was the ruling? In the ruling, sir, because ADC claim they are not aware. The picture, the picture they painted in the, uh, to the uh, head of uh, their management is that uh, we are not uh, uh, um, uh, a well-settled uh, uh, community. And we told them this is a resettlement. The residents of this community... They captured you as an illegal community. Illegal community. Yeah. That we but they are bringing in, bills to the illegal bring community. Bills. They, yeah, yeah, they bring bills. Yeah. They bring bills and they make money from there. So I had cost, and we told them that, okay, the ruling, sir, let me just go straight to the ruling, sir. Yeah, summarize it, please. In summarize the ruling, it. I will serve you a copy, sir, yeah. that uh, AEDC should come to Peggy Resettlement and do an assessment, feasibility study of the community. They should also up their games in providing power adequately to the community and that prepared meters 
should be provided. Should be provided. Is there anybody 20, using? Is there anybody using prepaid meter at that community? At the moment, about uh, sixty-five percent of residents are on PPM, sir. Prepaid meter, sir. Okay, so you only have about thirty-five on estimated. On estimated and how the is yeah. coming in. Yeah. On estimated and outrageous billings. That calls also to call the MD. It would always refer us to the new GM now. But before we come to this uh, level, can, can we track how the officials come to the community? Have you sensed any corrupt, any undue the thing? Do they come in, pay? If you give us money, we collect. Are, are your residents in this area, in this quagmire of uh, you, you? If you pay, we connect. If you don't pay, we don't. How are you related with them? What's the relationship? Actually, sir, they are being careful in our community. Wow. But. Uh, there are still unscrupulous um, staffs of AEDC who perpetuate this act. We report to the. Have business. you reported that? Yes, I to, have you report, reported? I uh, reported to the business manager, to the area manager, up till the regional. So, how long manager. ago did you get this uh, this ruling? How long ago? Wow. How over, many months over, now? over six months, sir. You have not gotten anything from ADC? Nothing they haven't come it. to the community? Yes, sir. When the uh, the management team came, they claimed they were not served this this ruling in February. And we served them the ruling, the copy of the ruling. They came in company of their lawyer. As we speak, they have not come. Okay, let, 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 let's, let's, shift, let's shift it uh, to, yes. uh, to the next. To the next. Let, 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 uh, let's to the next. To let's miss Martin's call. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Would you get that correctly? Yes. yes okay. Cool. What is your experience? What, what's your experience? Where do you reside in, and uh, what is your personal experience or a community experience? Yes, it's uh, personal as well as uh, community. Do it's just uh, in the. Uh, uh, compound where I live. Where do you live? I live in Guarimpa. Where in Guarimpa? Uh, Third Avenue, Guarimpa. Third Avenue, Guarimpa. Yeah. Yes, and uh, we used to uh, receive thirty thousand naira initially as bills. How many? In, how many? How many households? Well, well, about seven. Seven households. Yeah, yeah household in the compound, and the the bills shot down to forty. From forty, it went to fifty. We're complaining. Did you complain? Yes, we're Formally, complaining. Did you write? Did you write? Uh, just in, complain? Initially, grumbling. we did not write. Yeah. We're complaining. We complain uh, verbally. From uh, 50 to 100, then we wrote. <laughs> from 100 to, to 200. 200,000? Yes. From, yeah. from, from 40, 30 to... Um, to 200,000. Another geometric <laughs> progression. Yes. We were like, what is happening? There was no response from them. To three hundred thousand. Were you paying three hundred thousand? Yes. If if were you paying at these stages? These no, stages. No, we were just paying what we, we what could you afford. thought you should yes. afford. Okay. And it continued that way. So when you got to three hundred thousand, we I took it. All off. of you ran away from the yes. house. Yes. No. <laughs> it were, it was this scenario. <laughs> going. Yeah. So I, I this time I took it up myself. I said I will not rest until I see the matter to the end. And yes. I wrote to them personally. Okay. Initially I wasn't the one writing. When did you do this writing? Uh, Are you remember? Uh, yes, it, uh, around um, the month June, uh, mid June of this year. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes. okay. So when I when I wrote, I went. So which I, office did you submit your letter? Um, the uh, the AEDC office in, on Second Avenue in Guarimpa. Okay, go on. Uh, I submitted it and I followed up. At a point, all the letters got missing. In their office? Yes. They did, told did, me that... When you submitted the letter, did they give you acknowledgement copies? Yes. You have acknowledgement copies? I took their Signed. acknowledgement copies to them Wonderful. and they, they could not trace the, the letters. Original. Yes. They, they asked me to write again now, and I did. the current situation now? The current situation, the B has been reviewed down to, back to 50,000 Naira. But the accumulation, yes, the accumulation has, uh, is so much that... Are they asking you to pay those accumulators? Yes. They, we, we now want to have, to acquire meter. But they asked us to clear the areas before they will give us a meter. And that is our plight. This, we, we are very sh sure that... But how would AEDC ask you to clear what they have admitted was overbilling? That is the... Which they that took is down the they, have, they have taken it down. Why would they And that is why we are crying out here. That Wonderful. if these people acknowledge that, yes, these bills were outrageous. And they have reviewed it down to... So why not uh, clear the, 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 the one you friend gave over. us? Now, whom are you talking to at ADC? Because uh, 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 Mr. Lubio will soon come on to tell us the processes that it takes. Uh, uh, who are you talking with? I mean, are these it, are still at the local 
uh, office in uh, Guarimpa or you have, to have you escalated? Because there are levels that you take them to which you are not satisfied. No, I, we, we, we are still at the You are still at local, the, that level. Yes. That's, why the, that's why that bill is still hanging on your neck. Because I'm very sure that when you take it to the next level, uh, like Kola, uh, uh, Kola Olubi will help you to do after this program. Mm-hmm. You will definitely get to a stage where you see people who can take decisions. Those you are dealing with now are, are the people who are actually tormenting tormenting the consumers at the lower level. Unless you are able to raise your head above to the top water where you can breathe us, take oxygen in and see the those who can save you, these guys will squeeze you out and they may cut, cut your light. As I, I, one, one thing I want to point out, my interactions with uh, the, the staffs of the AEDC in that office, I noticed that there is a lady in the office that deliberately fix charges the way she wants. And she does that based on how she look at he, she look at she's the, the hatchet woman. Uh, she's the one that does the. <laughs> but in spite of her being there, they've <laughs> taken your bills down to fifty thousand. So the ladies and um, the lady must, must have done something. Uh, yeah, they've yeah. taken you from three hundred thousand. Exactly. It means the lady is not up to all bad. Correspondence. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to you, uh, 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 But let's just finish. Well, then we have two scenarios here. One is uh, community, basically. The other one is a household. And they are all speaking to the same uh, template of uh, having uh, over billing. And the other one was that the community contributed money and they actually invested in the facility. Yes, over said. 20 million uh, invested in the facilities of AEDC. I think we should just let them hold on and then we we'll take some calls. Let us, let us have some reaction. Then we'll ask uh, uh, Olubi to intervene and tell us. Let us get maybe similar incidences from our callers outside. So you can join us now on the phone. You yeah, remember that we are not actually looking at strictly what your challenges are. We are looking at how you are responding to the, how are you, how, where have you taken the challenges to? How are they responding to the challenges you have taken to them? Hello, your name and where are you calling from? I'm Emmanuel. I'm calling. I uh, think we're going to have a meeting with my president. Emmanuel, go ahead. Yeah, um, we moved into a residence in Kwagwalada, very close to the Nefa office. Then um, we discovered there is outstanding bill in the house. There's a three residents in the compound. They are giving fifteen thousand every month. We said we don't want to be part of that. We want to have our meter. They are asking us to clear the outstanding debt that was there before that was not owned by us that you will divide it into three for us to pay one part of it before we can have a prepaid meeting. But you definitely have a landlord. You have a landlord. The landlord said it's not his business. If we want to have a prepaid meeting, it's not his business. Was it not his business changing his tenants? <laughs> no. He said it's not his business. He okay, now... Because we want to be comfortable. Now, where are you now? Where, 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 what location are you now? Have you complained to them? Have you formally complained to them? To AEDC? Yes, we complained to them, and that is what they divided the money into three. They are saying to three tenants, we said we want to have a prepaid meter that we can go ahead to pay off the outstanding balance then before we can have a prepaid meter. Please send your details to our, our, our WhatsApp number so that we can follow up. You, I don't know if you got it. Uh, 090 yes, sir. Double two, Double two. 65 61 Six one, yes, seven. Six seven, okay. so, so we can help you follow up and then we'll forward all the details to your consumer protection network. Remind us it is you, okay? Emmanuel. Okay, okay let's go to the... Thank you. Let's go to the next caller. Hello. By your name, where you are calling from, and then go straight to the complaints and what you have tried to do. My, my name is Mr. Daniel, calling from New here. Go ahead. Uh, the issue, what we are facing in our outside here is that overbilling even successive period that they don't give us life for like this three months, they will still come having the bill. So what we decided to do, we rushed to them several occasions, but they never want to attend to it. Only as I'm talking to you now, throughout this month, we are here to have life because the transformer is down. In fact, we will call the, the, the present manager, Mr. Peter, because where I'm calling from is not a serious transformer, the new car we have. It's a very pathetic issue. Because as I'm talking to you now, that transformer, when they power it, within a short period of time, two, three minutes, it should go up. That means that we have incompetent staff working in this 
area. Now the yeah. question we always ask the the question we always ask is have you made a formal complaint? Have you complained formally? Yeah. So here yeah, every if I hear the we were in the we were in their office, if I would have brought official data to Zoom for for the past year, and I said to you about this in July B and they wanted to bring the August B, but because they couldn't give us life, they are holding the beat. And so what we are fighting for now is to ensure that we will we will have back to them so that they will not you know because if you don't write they will, at the end of the day, they will still put this August B, which they didn't give us the life, and ask us to continue paying. In fact, we decided that, okay, let us be paid in a cup and we have to pay a T5 every month. But that is successfully being that they have compiled for which they don't even give us that for three, four months. So, hmm. I, I, one of the managers, if you permit me to mention the name. Well, say, you, are very, you are very free to mention the name. As long as you are accurate, go ahead. So, the new manager, because the former one is Cosmos and Gina Cosmos, they transfer them, because the way we push them, they will transfer them, bring another one. Then the present one now is Mr. Peter. So we have been, we have been on his leg, as I'm talking to you now, they are here to stay, uh, to find solution to that transformer. In case you say that the transformer still has the duration of uh, up to 50 years. And okay. All right, uh, uh, Daniel. Uh, like we always say, please uh, put uh, drop your own name, drop your contact with us. Uh, zero nine zero two two six five six one six seven. Thank you very much. Let's get to the get to the next caller. Complaints Galo, and it does appear that uh, the description that it says scam might actually be near. That's what is being intoned. Hello. Hello, your name and your comment briefly. I'm John Chibi, I'm calling from Madala. Thank yeah. you. See, our own complaint about this uh, neighbor issue is uh, at uh, Alahaji Boho. We have not had life for over a month now. Where is Alahaji Boho? Um, in Madala. Madala, okay, that's in Niger State. Niger State, yes. Uh, but still under uh, the electricity. Yes. Company. Okay. In terms of and jurisdiction, so we have gone to complain. They they now send their what their permission to fix the transformer, and the thing blows the same day is they were fixing it. And it's over a month now. Nothing has been done. Yeah, have you been and when 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 have they been sending bills to you? Yes, they have. They don't got bills. Not few days ago for it. Even when you don't have, no. even when you don't have light. Yes. Okay, that's a, that's a challenge. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's take as many as possible so that uh, before uh, Mr. Olubio will respond. Hello. Yeah, my name is Bruce. I'm calling from Kubwa. Yeah, share your experience with us. My experience is so bad that I have to start this way that uh, AEDC are worse than police. Let me tell you what happened. I moved to a house. They asked me to clear a bill of 105000 before I, I will get a meter. I cleared it. They brought a I wrote, I wrote, they now brought a meter to me. Three months later, they now brought a bill on the old prepaid meter they removed, they have cleared the bill they removed. They brought a bill. I went and complained. They said, I should not worry. I have been doing that for 66 months and they came and disconnect my prepaid meter. Wow. Because of the bill. Do you have evidence? Do, have do you have evidences have of all these payments? I have done that. I have. I can call the manager's name, the first manager that gave me the the letter in Abu and he has moved away. One other manager. What are the names of these managers? You can mention their names if you have their names. The name is Abu the one that gave me the letter. Then the next one that came, he pleaded with me that okay for peace to reign. Then we are in this case. He brought another bill of one uh, one hundred and eighty thousand under a uh, old meter because they disconnect my house for over two weeks, no light. Then he now pleaded with me that I could please, please clear that old um, uh, bill they brought that he will solve the issue. I did that in three months. I cleared the bill. He still came and disconnect my life. My hmm. annoyance was that I went back to that same man. That look who he will ask me to clear another one hundred and eighty thousand. If I calculate the money I have cleared on that meter you have removed, it's close to four hundred thousand. I went and printed it and showed him. He now said, Okay, you want me to tell him the truth that I give the Salamu the former manager any money before they brought the uh, prepare, prepare meter to my house and say no, I did not. 
in how God angry. Then why am I disturbing you? Is that, 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 that I should go and anything you brought to the house, I should go and clear. Do you know that it was quite outside that said I should reapply for another meter? I have gone and paid 67,000 again wow. for another three cents meter. And it was this Saturday they came and installed the three cents meter and you have to remove that one that they have they brought two years ago. Do you know that I now discovered that even that one they brought that last time they go, it was from another estate they removed it and brought it to my house. And that the emitter has been having issues that any light I got, for instance, if I buy a light of 10,000, it's only 3,000 naira. Uh, they, they are deducting from it. Yeah. They are deducting. Yes. So I hmm. try on a good, I have to go and apply for another meter. Please, AETC should wake up. Because the way they are doing Nigerians is bad. If you look on the social media, you see some places in the world, people chase them away because people are frustrated. Hmm. Thank you so thank much. You so let's, much. Let's, uh, let's let's thank let's, you. let's let's allow you to go. This is more than this is more than for somebody to pay so much and diligently comply with, even though it is clear that these bills were just flying. And the last meter they brought for him is one that has accumulated troubles and is still paying. Let us al al allow. You, you, you know when it started. Right. Let, 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 let ADC was than police. I wanted to say fair comments, but after listening to him, you now realize. Okay, let's take more calls. Hello. Abubakar from uh, Goraka. Abubakar, go ahead. Please. Abubakar from where? Goraka. Goraka, Goraka, Niger State. Okay, that is from Niger State. I think I have to learn about all these uh, colors. I think I have to differ. My only different the challenge we have now. This one we will take two days. They brought they brought two bills for you. So they two bills. I mean, I'm just doing teacher. 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 I'm just doing <laughs> we are talking about amount. We are saying, is it this one amount, says the same, the same, same amount, month. same period? Okay. 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 Uh, let's go to the next caller. Let, let's go to. Please send it. Send it to our number zero nine zero two two six five six one six seven. Wait. Let's let's take the next call. Hello. My name is Mr. Okey. I'm calling from the right now. I'm calling from Wuteju. Go ahead. This is not an issue like you know. We have the challenge of this issue. The plan to our compound. I bought into a new house. What do you mean? What do you mean by the what do you mean by the complete money? How much did you pay? How much did you pay? Is new there anything connection? like is it new connection? Is there a new connection? Say new house. Oh. I said I was a thief. Oh, excuse me. Let us, let us. Hello, hello, hello. Let us talk so that we can get you clearly. Is it a new, a new? Is it a new building? Yes, 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 yes. How much did you pay for the step down you are talking about? How much did you pay? Yes, the only difference was two thousand five hundred. Twenty-two five hundred. Now, uh, what yes. happened after that? Okay. Your, your message your message your message is very, very clear. The AADC is using everybody around that area to mount pressure on those who are owing. And that is the harassment we are yeah. talking about. Thank you very much. Uh so, somebody is taking the note and will respond to it, and I believe AEDC officials are also taking the note. Uh let, can we take one more call before we come to uh, Libya? Uh okay, let's go to uh, let's come. You have a lot to respond to now. 
Uh, some of them are very, very painful. Some of them are appear to be scams. Some appear. Last one now is that look, he has done everything righteously, but because there are people who are owing around him, they harass him to say we are cutting off your light even after he has completed all the due diligence. What is the problem? Because you are representing the, the, uh, the, the consumers. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we are worried as end users of electricity in the country uh, because, of course, uh, the post-privatization power sector, electricity consumers have extremely continued to bear the burden. Before uh, the privatization, we were owing some bills to PACN and the agreement was that the discos, the new manager should collect the money and give it, uh, give such money to Nemco. That was not done. It was used as a rollback to fund the funding gap. That means that we are supposed to be partly equity stakeholders in this business. When you say we, what are you doing? Electricity consumers. The consumers yes. are supposed well, to the be money that we, the, the money Does that they, take you to the first or to... Uh, the, the money, uh, collectively, we are speaking with, across board now. Yes. Collectively, Mr. Andrew, actually yeah, the now. amount of money they paid to acquire the license was far lower than the indebtedness of consumers to the sector. So if you look at it, it's Pennywise fan, fan foolish. Then for three, four years, collections that were collected, some did not even remit. And as I speak to you, some are remitting 20%. For example, for a disco to make $8 billion in a month, I remit $2 billion. Hmm. And there's a lot of weaknesses from regulatory, institutional, and legal. Not lack, of, lack of enforcement. So what we are saying is that they, uh, for those consumers that want to move into new premises, we want to advise them that they should shine their eyes. Because if you are moving into a new, a new pre uh, premises, you, you need to know the indebtedness of that building. The history. Yes. The, history, the, the of... history. Because uh, most times, the landlord will say it's not their business. So these are hidden charges that a lot of consumers have been... Uh, uh, but, for... but, but particularly for for estimated billing. Estimated billing, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if it is uh, prepaid, you don't have any problem. But those estimated billings, somebody uses the light and use up and accumulate bills and leaves. And leave. So it is the... Should, should somebody not be held responsible? Yeah, ordinarily... Ordinarily, um, if uh, a, bill, a, a, a consumer uh, move into a building and discover there's an, uh, an hidden charge, the right thing to do is to write to the agent. How would the, the person know when they no, are the first bill, the first bill, the first bill, to write to the yeah, to write to the agent, because like I've said, consumers should endeavour to you know make inquiries, and if such uh, facts were hidden, and after the first month of staying there, there's an estimation. In a, however low or high, the right thing to do is to write to the agent or the landlord that there's a misrepresentation of facts. These are hidden charges that this I've seen. And when you want to pay the next rent or for two, three years, you can reach an agreement and say, look, yeah, you deduct, this, you deduct in, in, in peace me like three, three times. It's not something that the, land, the property owner will be doing you a favor because you the facts uh, in issue where misrepresentation. I think the first people that so should shine the their eyes. The first set of people that should shine their eyes are the landlords. The landlords. Yeah, because when somebody is moving out of your house, you have to be sure that he has played. Yes, exactly. yeah, so, so you go after the there's not the business it of the new tenant. So I haven't, I haven't said I haven't said that investment by electricity consumer in the network. Uh, I think the, is, 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 the fault is from the regulatory agency, which is NAC. NAC. Because uh, the NAC has really made it so open or loosely crafted that the law or the regulation require urgent review. And that, if, when we live here, we call it resolve the issue with uh, my brother, uh, Prince Baba, Barista Babatunde Rokera, uh, the DG Federal Competition and uh, Consumer Protection Commission, that as a multi sectoral uh, regulatory agency that has, you know, in, interest within the purview of electricity consumer related concern, that they should write to NAC in, for, in pursuance of his, uh, the mandate of the commission for a review of that. Because uh, it's not, the issue is not peculiar to uh, it, it, it's not, it, it, it does also appear that even those you represent here, you represent the, the consumer's network, that uh, the regulatory authority, we have tried to invite them here, and uh, I'm aware. They, 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 they have promised that they will be here next week. It's like uh, the NAC is not doing much to actually uh, even uh, push for the various uh, you know, practices. To us, to us, to us. As that, my problem is this. Complaints come. A deluge of complaints come. It gets to destination. But in between that, there seems to be a stalemate and nobody tricks it. To us, the way out is that um, for every uh, uh, cobble we pay on tariff, 
there's a sharing formula. Yes. Between uh, 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 you know generation transmission distribution, of course, NAC. I will feel that it's like NAC now be an interested party because the more revenue that comes in, the more ra- NAC, apart from the budgetary lines of government that goes to NAC. It is, it is unheard and it's unimaginable that NAC that is regulating, just like BP being board members yes. of the discourse, and they are similarly regulatory uh, oversight uh, agency. So we felt that there's a mix of and conflict of interest because now the discourse is sharing whatever they get from us as consumers with NAC. No matter how NAC also gets money. Well, that, well, so, from the so is that the reason why they are, they, are, they are pretending not to know that the consumer is being squeezed by the discourse? To so, us, we may not be correct, but that's our, that's our conclusion. That that's our conclusion week. that okay. NAC, government should get NAC properly funded and make sure that NAC and BP, as it were, that they are insulated from this kind of fake crimes. On the so the formula. corruption and the scam that it, is It's syndicated on, to me. Yeah, well, it's, well, it's, because it's, it's, if we are saying that uh, things are not right, and the agents are supposed to be like the judge, uh, referee. The now it's not a player. It's, 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 it's not a player. I mean, it's to sharing, us, it's, it's sharing it's, from the money. To us, the it's, it's, it's a mis- to us, at end user. I'm not speaking as an individual, but on behalf of uh, electricity consumer mm-hmm. in Nigeria. Yeah, I, I believe that it's a misnomer. They haven't said that. Uh, you know, at, I've seen an incident in Lonio but under a bad electricity distribution company where Ibadan Disco insisted that the community should write an undertaking that their investment which they want them to take over will they forfeit it? No, that it, <laughs> it, it, it's, it, it's been donated. Donated? Yes, so, so if, if for, for example the reason why we ask for privatization I was part of it, is that we want a paradigm shift from public sector driven inefficiencies or power, private sector, I mean power sector to a private sector driven but to us, we, it seems to us that we're not getting what really bargained for. Well, let, let me ask, uh, just before we get to let me ask uh, Mr. Adelibi, have you also been asked to donate what you have? Has there been any suggestion as to uh, forfeit donate? By compulsion? Yes. Directly, they've not done that, sir. Indirectly, have they? Indirectly, we know that's what they are insinuating. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let's uh, get to Adao Biobi Abumo. I believe we have uh, we have some uh, uh, those who have written to us who probably can't call uh, uh, at the studio numbers. Those who have who have written through our WhatsApp uh, number zero nine zero double two six five six one six seven. Adao Biobi Abumo. Uh, do we have uh, complaints? Yes, we do. We have a uh, Mr. Michael who said he has written to AEDC for Mita because of the outrageous bill that was sent to him. But that the officials told him that he wouldn't be giving the meal unless he clears the outstanding bill, which he did not consume. Mr. Nnamani from Turun Wada in Lube also said that he has made several attempts to get a meter all to no avail. Mr. Alex Obi from Madala also said he paid for meter for the past three months, but that he's yet to receive the meter. Hmm. Now, uh, let us let us uh, look at the question of uh, inherited be through the uh, uh, estimated billing uh, system. Now you have people actually driven out of their houses. They are driven out because the bill is too much. It's just like what the uh, one of our guests, uh, Jacob, told us just now. You have bills that are accumulated. You have been telling them they increase it from 50 to 300. At some point, if it's a tenant, they will just run away. And then another tenant will now come. And the AEDC will insist that the tenant should clear that be where is the where is the wisdom where is the fairness where is the equity in this kind yeah, of thank, thank. where is the landlord yeah, the yeah. no 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 fair hearing and equity demands i mean and in public interest demands that when a, a customer acquire prepaid meters the customers are in Kori, like I said, now our forum in Guagualada. We are putting the ADC and uh, neck on their toes, and we thank God that uh, they, are they, are, they are responding. <laughs> uh, it is electric consumers, once you acquire, before you acquire a prepaid meters, make sure you get a printout of what they call account history, which is like a bank statement. To see if there's. No, to make backlog. sure, because the moment you get a prepaid meter, they will shut down that account, and it may be difficult for you to track it. So get the last. Before you move in, get at least recent, close to the migration to prepaid. Get, make sure you get your account history and keep them safely. Then when you get the account history, attach it and request for a freezing. You know, that your account now, the prepaid, I mean, the estimated building that is coming from the old regime should, should be, frozen be frozen for six months. 
So that because what we are saying is that uh, estimated billions are the wins and caprices of the, the marketers. No, they're not even the disco. The marketers may not like your face. You may take the marketers somewhere, buy them papers, so buy them drinks, and say, okay, this one is a very nice person. The, the lower, I'll tell you the technicalities of how to go out, uh, around it. So once you get your account frozen for six months, then the one that is, is coming that legal? yes that, yeah, of course it's a right that's what i'm saying equity that is it that you are a customer i want to pay but i'm challenging your bill now i'm getting prepared meter i want my account to be frozen for six months they will bring it back so that within that six months your prepaid meter that you will not, you not tell them will not tell you the actual yeah. actual consumption because if you are being given 30 30 thousand 50 thousand and somebody's just doing banana you don't need to beg them you need so, to explain something get the account frozen yes when you, when you write what about the supply does it get no what what what, what i'm saying what i'm saying is that there's what they call migration if you are on prepaid meters i've seen a case of a disco that a customer issue prepaid meter had an issue and for eight months, the intervening period they were, of, they were of not making it, estimated no, bills. they just gave estimated billing for uh, for two months. And the customer from the pre- record of prepaid meter was consuming about an average of five to seven thousand in a month. So at most for two months, will be fourteen thousand or ten thousand. Yes. But when they gave this customer th- this particular disco, when they gave the customer a new prepaid meter, they loaded in two hundred forty thousand naira. They say because to protect the revenue, loss of revenue, into the customer's new meet- meter. And they have records of the old meter. They didn't reconcile. So when the customer was... And sometimes not, the customers don't know. They don't know. They don't know. So, okay, let, 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 so let, let, let's, take, you, let's take you backwards. Since the last two weeks, we have had you on this program. And we have also forwarded... Uh, Primark has also forwarded complaints to you that we have received through our phones. How have you dealt to them? Are you satisfied with the way... Uh, the, 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 those who complain, have you? Are you in touch with them? What have you actually done with them? Well, thank you very much. You, you know that um, uh, most... These schools, in reality, they are facing real liquidity challenges. Financial challenges. Financial challenges. Funding. Funding. And it's, it's always very difficult for most of these schools to part away with what they put in the books. So we do a lot of follow-up. Uh, such complaint, I'm like, like uh, I assure you, they've been forwarded to appropriate quarters. Okay. I will not let them rest until we get results. And we are not because tired. Because we are going to be forwarding more yeah, to you now. No, no. The, 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 the truth of the matter is that the reason why we are here is that we've refused to be compromised. Yeah. We've refused the entities of corruption. It, it comes, it comes our consider. way. It comes our way. You know, being 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 satisfied or being comfortable is, is self contentment. Yes. So there's no amount of money that is you can place throw at us that is you say that our price. So we are here because we want Nigeria to work and Nigeria can work. Because was, we have seen I, Nigeria I, work. And I was with you in Gwagwalada at the at the town hall and I was amazed at the number of people who came around and how you in your organization uh, to working with next day and try to solve some of the problems. Yeah, it's a continuous process. Yeah. Um uh, is what we try to do is carrot and stick because in fairness to adc at, at least we've been able to pull out about 25 transformers with concrete poles that each investment in each of the communities that we do such uh, like in uh, guandaladi that will be going our next point of call, call under zuma close to zuba they put in about 70 poles and they are still putting under 150. the community have never seen light uh, in uh, 30 years of uh, its existence, without a letter, just text messages and whatever. So there are a series of cases from this coast to this coast. But I must confess that even though I have my brother in uh, the chairman and the CEO operation in Ibadan, when it comes to issue of Ibadan, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's I, I find it's, it's, it's a mixed feeling because I have my brothers there. But once I raise the issue, it's a mixed feeling. But when you raise an issue with ADC, when you raise an issue with uh, uh, so, so, uh, uh, Paracord Disco, and some of them, at least you are sure of getting result but in the bad on- what about the beneath this go ha <laughs> 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 because I hear that is a, a different. We have had protests on the streets. Yes, so. uh, that that should be our next point of call. Okay. I will take the the MDC. But here, he said it. something. Yeah. They get up to eight billion. Marami two billion. There are, there are and you're of, talking uh, uh, that, We are talking they about you, money. We are talking about governance structure. We are talking about fiscal indiscipline. We are talking about weak regulatory uh, institution. We are talking about, uh, I mean, need for review of um, sector specific uh, codes and um, uh, and what have you. It's a plethora. Of it's also for God, the the institutions need to be strengthened and be insulated from undue interference. Like I've said, we have to really go now. Yeah, like I, like I, like yeah. I've said, migration of billing. Is very important. So consumers should ask questions. Now, what do you what do you tell uh, uh, our guests in the studio who came? The, the, the answer is more than like crying. 
I mean, you have a community that uh, invested over 20 million yes. and they are being strangulated. You have the others whose bill has risen to 300, like the a, a plane it flies up and it flies down and they ask him to clear. What do you tell them? I've addressed the issue of... Uh, um, um, uh, Kujie, Kujie, Kujie. Right here, the, 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 I've taken a snapshot of the... And you have sent it, and to, I've sent it to the appropriate authority from CPC, I mean, uh, uh, Consumer Protection to NAC and uh, ADC. Okay, and I believe that they are working on it. Uh, uh, on the, from Guarimpa, yeah, Jacob. My, ad, my advice is that you need to get a prepaid meter. Get a prepaid meter. Are they available? Yes, because some people have on the applied, map, on the the, map. People have applied for prepaid meters. You want us to talk personally? No. They have applied for prepaid meters for months and they have not gotten it. Yeah, you know, uh, even outside the studio, I had two cases from um, Lugbe and Wagwala two days ago and I discovered that it was just communication. Game. All right. Kunle Kola Kola Olubi 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 Kunle Kola Olubi uh, is uh, uh, the president uh, of the Consumer Protection Network and he's here fighting to tunnel to get all of you have uh, um, the electricity the way you want it and uh, so that you are not cheated. And of course, we have also had uh, <laughs> wonder, some wonderful guests coming in here who are consumers. Uh, Mr. Adderi Dibe, Isaac Taiwo and Mr. Martins Jacob Yankula. And they have put their complaints down and we want to appreciate those who have called in. We have taken notes of those, your calls and we are going to be forwarding them to the relevant authorities and the uh, Olivia will also be taking them. He has invested them. He's actually started work here and sending them to the appropriate quarters. And we must wrap up now. While we are wrapping up, we must remind those who are listening to us that it's not just in the electricity sector that if you pay for birth certificates in Nigeria today, you are contributing to the oiling of corruption. You don't need to pay to anybody, not even 500, 1,000 or 2,000 as they are collecting. Birth certificates and birth registration is free in Nigeria. Do some assertion of the self. Do some insistence. When they ask you to pay, tell them you won't pay. Take them to the NPC, the National Population Commission, and get redress. And you can also call us on our number 90 to complain. We forward these complaints to the NPC. Yesterday, somebody called us from Lugbe that they are collecting 11,000. Please don't pay anybody. But as far as the electricity is concerned, the uh, non-availability of meters, the scam that is going on by our scrupulous ADC staff, please forward your complaints and then we will pass it on to the appropriate quarters. And that's how we're wrapping it up on Public Conscience on Radio this uh, uh, day. And then we'll be uh, running uh, back next week with uh, uh, a neck that is uh, the regulators to come and explain to us how they can be part of the sharing of the money that is coming out from this corruption and still be regulating. My name is Okiri Agbonsuremi. I'm Chukudu Okuli Ubaja and we're waiting for neck next week. Thank you. Thank you.